Phase five. Find a lost traveler. It's uh, just any plan. Someone made a stairway. Very large stairway. And a place to land. I can pick this up. No, I can't. It lied to me. All right, well, let's get down here. It is. Locate a reality breach. Use a signal booster to search for a weak point in the boundaries between realities. Surge battery required, which I don't think we have any more surge batteries. And now we do. All right. Need our signal booster down. Can't do it here because we're too close to someone else's build. There we go. Signal booster. Scan for reality breaches. Boundary failure detected. On another planet. I don't know where the bottom's at. Alright. Ooh, we're gonna crash. I don't know what we did. We're good. Ah, uh, I spoke too soon. understand what I am seeing. They too have been consumed by static. The only voice I have heard. And it's gone. Is this an illusion? A holographic echo in this noise? Or the fragment of some lost reality? It does not matter. They are static now. Like everything else. Let's call out. Hey, we did it. We succeeded at being sad. Let's get back in the ship already, Jesus. Claim our reward. Assorted glitches. Cool, I don't really have a base. If you want to take up my inventory space. Oh. How many did they give me? Four. Okay, that's not too bad. Cable pod and ossified star, hexaplant bush, tribium growth, and a glitching separator. I only came across one glitch and I wound up getting rid of it. Because I don't really have a basic command for it. I wonder if I can put the glitches on my freighter. If it's possible to leave them there. Uh, current objective, we gotta prepare the ingredients. Many raw ingredients can be processed into edible pr products, and there are many alternative ingredients available. To begin, locate a source of flour and yeast. The analyst faster LT can be used to track. Alright. I'm gonna go cook. Here we go. Perfect. Let's get some. Beautiful. Deploy nutrient processor to begin cooking. I need a hermetic seal and two metal plates. Cannot build because we are missing fairy dust. And a hermetic seal.
Prepare ingredient wild yeast. Process fascium. Nutrient processor. Mix flour and yeast in the nutrient processor. Yeast. Flour. In we make dough. Take your dough to make bread. We have made bread. And we did it. By bread alone, we have prepared our own food. I will consume it. Give me a jetpack power surge. Power surge. Uh, we have completed a another one. By baking bread, our expedition continues. We get fish biscuits and salty juice gotten quite a bit of food items and I don't use the food as nearly as I think I should as nearly as much as I think I should a still small voice becomes serenade does it become serenade in the face of infinity guess we're going back out into space huh Gaze towards the stars for 60 seconds. Find a moment of peace, free from the confines of machinery. Wait, free from the confines of machinery. Does that mean I gotta, like, leave? Oh, you know what? I bet I gotta find where it is nighttime. So I need to go where the sun is not. Question is, is it nighttime? No, it's not. It needs to be. So we have to outrun the sun. It's nighttime now. Let us land. Let us leave. Let us just gaze towards the stars. For 60 seconds, we just look into space, free of machinery it says, but of course we're in an exosuit covered with machinery. Just supposed to enjoy this moment. Just take a time to reflect what's happening right now. Oh no, the sun's rising. Damn it. trying to outrun the sun. Hopefully now we can get 60 seconds to ourselves to stare at the stars. As we arrive at the settlement. The settlement that's not really a settlement. Doesn't matter. We will still stand and stare. In hopes that the sun will not rise. Just yet. Almost there. Just need 60 seconds. Day and night cycles are so weird. There we go. The still small voice. Taking time to reflect of the madness that is solitude. We get three memory fragments out of that. I don't know what memory fragments are for. What's a memory fragment for? Here it is. 
The shattered remnants of an expired traveler. It whispers an unknowable name deep within its fibers. The memory will manifest as his important technology upgrade to aid you on your travels. Okay. So that's what these are. Jump system. Oh, an advanced jump system. Very nice. What was this? Automatic recharge, finally. Been hoping to find that at some point. Oh, uh, what was the last thing? A moderate upgrade for the geology cannon, which we don't have. Time to approach the void as we go into our dream. Spike detected. There's a voice inside me that drives me ever onwards. My voice? My exosuit? Something else entirely? It is right most of the time, but not always. Not now. I am the pilot. I decide. Now I want to stop, to rest, to take it all in, to dream, to sleep. I dream. To dream of sleep. I like these parts of the expeditions. These are really like the storytelling parts of the expeditions. Summonal dust. I don't know what summonal dust is. Oh, it's the stuff we've been collecting from, uh... It's not decayed space-time rim. No, I was thinking of this. It looks like that stuff, though. Alright. We have one more left, and then we're done with this expedition. We just need to go and reach our final rendezvous point. We're already in the star system where it's at. So... Let's go. When I play No Man's Sky, it's... I don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> it's just more of like for the enjoyable experience of space exploration. Going to the different planets and stuff like that. I don't have any one particular thing that I do supposed to go. Guess I'm just supposed to land. Ending sequence unavailable. Land landing area not clear. Sentinels. I'm not gonna stay. I will just go in the direction it was telling me. Yeah, I see him. 
So we flew a little too far away. Just be better to get in our ship again. A lot of people's little message balls, right? reached it. A damaged starship. Somebody's starship. Well, I guess apparently all of us can hit it. Kilmer. Claim ship. Not gonna swap it, but I will claim it. No, don't tell me I gotta summon this damn thing. Well, there you have it, folks. We did it. Everyone's ship is just like stacked on one another. We don't need the hyperdrive. Just do that and get out of here since we are now finished. We can go get our ship.
All right, let's get our rewards for the expedition. Our 300 quicksilver, our planetary chart, empty planetary chart, and fragmented voila. 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 And we get the title Drifter, the Adrift Decal Panels, and the Adrift Banner Customization. And with it, the final reward the Iron Vulture Starship and Iron Panels Customization. That's a beautiful looking ship. It has an Atlas figurine on it. Very nice. Sputtering Starship Trail. Compare it to this hunk of junk. And we're going to claim it. It's now ours. Expedition complete. Congratulations, Traveler. All primary expedition goals complete. Your save will convert to a standard save if you wish to continue. Earned rewards can be collected on any save via the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion on the Space Anomaly. Be sure to check back for the start of a new expedition soon. By soon, they mean like two months from now. This is what needs to finish. Owning the freighter brings... Several benefits, including portable base. I already know all this. Hey, look, he's back. Quicksilver Synthesis Companion. This is the guy that we go to see. Create exotic items. Where to earn Quicksilver? Collect expedition awards. That's where I get my Starborn Runner, my Atlas Scepter, my Atlas Head Shield, Flight Backpack. The Omega decal. Dual starships. We've already collected these, which is why they're not showing up. It's cool looking starships on here though. Can I complete other expeditions? Like, can I go to do Expedition 1? It does say begin new expedition. Like to go back and do expeditions one through eleven that I missed, but I guess it doesn't do that. Another person. Everyone is right back where they need to be. I can use the Nexus again. Everything is great. And here's my starship. Let's get a look at it up close. We saw it earlier with somebody else parked in the same spot too. There it is. I like the little machine guns on the front. It's a nice touch. Front looks cool. It's like a Zylon on the front. I like these little engine turbines that they have going on. Around to the back side here. The engine's looking good. That is a nice looking ship. And we got a little Atlas bobblehead. Get above or below us. Well, there you have it, folks. That has been a drift. One other thing is that we did earn as well. We can find where we go to edit them. In the appearance modifier. Let's see. It's boots, backpack, banner. So title. Should have the the drift title. There you are. True Born Atlas the Drifter. And a Drift Expedition banner. And there you go. That's what we get. That title, that banner. You could also do the Omega Expedition banner, which is from the previous.
previous expedition. But yeah, that's uh, save changes to show that you completed the expedition. So that was great. Between the two, I preferred the previous expedition, but I really like the look of the new starship that they have. I think it's a very nice looking starship. We don't get a different multi-tool at all. We don't get a uh, unique appearance looks or anything like that. I guess it was all just to give you that feeling of alone. You had those moments of just going into the stars where this person would just sit there, just gaze and dream and try and find people. Even going to the uh, little memorial mounds weren't even able to talk to people there. We found synthetic robot creatures that could speak, but weren't quite life forms that we were looking for. We came here to the anomaly where everybody was gone. And uh, one of the guys up there was uh, just not moving. So yeah, really gave you the alone feeling with the exception of course of other players that were constantly flying through. But it was good. It was well made. I like the quiet parts of drifting in space and the little stories they tell, the anomalies they created, things like that. Mainly just kind of gas and dust. But yeah, that's the end. That's gonna do it for me. I think I'm gonna go back into a different save to continue, but I will be carrying over everything that I earned. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next game. Goodbye.